Okay, this is my audience. Okay. According to the American Journal of Public Health, more than half a million Americans have died and 1.1 million people are currently living with this deadly disease. What disease am I talking about? HIV and AIDS. HIV and AIDS are spreading fast in the U.S. and that's why it's important to inform others about it. Today I will inform you um, what HIV and AIDS does to the human body, how it spreads, and how to prevent from receiving this virus. I will also be sharing with I will also be sharing with you how AIDS is affecting us today in America. Now, does anybody know what HIV stands for? Yes. Human immunodeficiency virus. Yes, that's very good. <laughs> um, human meaning that humans receive this. Immuno, meaning that it's your immune system, and your immune system helps fight back sicknesses. And virus, meaning its ability to mutate, making it difficult to cure um, the virus. Now, we'll take a look at what happens to a person who has HIV. Um, now, the virus attacks the healthy cells and um, takes over the body. And our bodies contain an immune system called um, T cells, which is that, and um, T cells help fight infections, but um, not even a T cell can help help fight against the this HIV. Um, HIV uses RNA to mutate the cell's own genetic material, and HIV's RNA pro uh, produces a, a a replica of DNA which then goes into the T cell's nucleus right here and, and uses the enzyme to cut away part of the cell's real DNA, inserting the new DNA strand by produced by the HIV. And now the new mutated DNA strand, um, it makes multiple copies of HIV, which then are distributed throughout the entire body. And according to the Institute of Molecular Medicine, more than 10 billion HIV, HIVs are copied in a single day. Um, as, I, as I stated previously, HIV is highly mutative, and making, which makes the HIV kind of like a criminal that um, uses plastic surgery to make it unrecognizable to the police. Um, so, going on. It's, it's important that if someone has HIV, um, for them to get a prescription from the doctor, and the drugs that the doctor usually prescribes them is known as antitriviral drugs, um, which is also known as ARVs. Um, ARVs slow the T cells loss by slowing the production of HIV's copies. Now these ARVs are expensive. They cost up to 12,000 to 20,000 a year. And the side effects from the ARVs is nausea, diarrhea, skin rash, fat displacement, headaches, and many other symptoms. HIV develops resistance to ARVs and the virus mutates so fast that in a study in 1980, 1998, only 2% of HIV was resistant to ARVs. And then in 2002, four years later, 13% uh, of HIV was resistant to the ARVs. So the medicine does help slow down the process, but and also it helps keep you healthy, but unfortunately the drug is not a cure and HIV will eventually lead to AIDS. Um, does anybody know what AIDS stands for? Yes. Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. <laughs> this is the last and final stage of HIV. Um, and according to Maryland Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, a normal T cell count is between 1,000 and 1,300 per pubic milliliter of blood. 
but during the stage of AIDS, the T cell count falls all the way down to 200, which makes the body unprotected against germs and sicknesses and diseases. Um, as T cells decrease, uh, the opportunistic diseases begin to take over, and anything simple like a cold or flu can be fatal for them because they can't fight back. And because of this condition, it will eventually lead them to death. Um, now that you know what HIV and AIDS are and how it affects the human body, we'll move on to how AIDS is spread. Um, now, there used to be a myth of how you can get HIV from a toilet seat or shaking hands or even from a water fountain. But all these things aren't true because um, HIV is spread through contact through body leaf fluids. Um, so it transmits, it can be from blood, like sharing needles, and HIV can also be transmitted through an HIV-positive mother to her baby by, um, through breast milk or in the womb or also during the labor. But the most common transmission of HIV occurs through sexual contact of any kind with someone who has HIV. According to AIDS Administration, 75% or more receive HIV through sexual contact. Now, when there is a way to receive a virus, there's a way to prevent. Um, HIV positive mothers uh, can provide a way to prevent transmitting the disease to her baby um, by simply taking her ARVs. Now, the ARVs is very crucial for her to take because it changes from a 1 in 3 chance to a 1 in 33 chance, and that's a really huge gap. Um, there are also two ways to um, prevent from spreading, receiving the virus through sexual contact. The first is protection with the use of condoms, but there is still a, a 1 in 5 chance of receiving the virus from the partner that has that disease. The second option is abstinence, and according to CDC, abstinence is the only way that individuals can be 100% protected from sexual transmitted transmission of HIV. And it's important to be aware of this deadly virus's status in the United States. Um, HIV and AIDS has, is affecting the United States tremendously. And according to Center of Surveillance and Endemology, at our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., one in 20 people are infected, which is about 30,000 people. Um, that statement was stated in 2005, but there have been more reports that the number of cases are increasing more and more. And HIV isn't just spreading in D.C. Um, According to CDC, HIV was the fifth leading cause of death for Americans between the ages of 25 to, 50, to 45, or yeah, to 44, in 1992. And since then, HIV has been spreading. From 2002, new, infect new infections were, ste were steady at 40,000 per year, and that has been increasing uh, to 8% overall. And also, according to Washington AIDS International Teens Organization, they stated that teens today will see more than 110 million people in infected in the next six years unless we can um, directly stop the current rate of transmission. Now, today we learned that um, what HIV and AIDS does to the human body, how it spreads throughout the throughout spreads throughout each other and how to prevent spreading the disease. We also have the knowledge of how it's affecting the United States. I hope you all learned how deadly HIV and AIDS can be and how easily the disease can spread. As long as we keep things going the way they are, HIV and AIDS will keep on spreading if we stay unaware. Thank you.